outfielder Mark Delgado. We'll go ahead and start with questions with Damian Calhoun, whenever you're ready. Hey, Mark. Um, Greg talked about the group's resiliency um, either tonight and this season. What have you seen out of this group so far this season? Um, yeah, just a stronger mindset um, to sticking to the plan and sticking in games uh, even when you know a few things go against us. Um, we stuck to it and have been able to come back and yeah, turn things around just by moving the ball, sticking to the game plan, and trusting one another. So yeah, I, I think that's the biggest difference from this year to last year, for sure. Mark, thanks for your time. I hope you're dried out now. Um, yeah. <laughs> speaking of that, kind of picking up on that, mm -hmm. there's a world of difference between this year and last year. It just, and forget the results, just the way it feels around here. Do you feel that too, and why does it feel so positive and, and, and so different this year? Um, yeah, I mean, that's quite easy just because we're getting results. Getting results makes everything better. Um, changes the energy in the building. Um, people are happier, you know, walking around with a smile on their face, joking around for no reason, right? Just getting results changes everything, makes all the difference in everyone's attitude. and. You know, yeah, that's definitely the difference around here. Just getting results. Hey, Mark. Um, your your thoughts on the field and the, how it how it made things more difficult for you guys um, in that it's slowing the ball down, it's slowing runs down. Feel uh, your steps aren't quite as certain. Um, I, I, it seemed like it took you guys a little bit out of your game. Um, yeah, it, yeah, definitely played a part. Um, ball was moving, obviously, different. The uh, field was soaked, it slowed down, and instead of bouncing, it skip or die. So, yeah, um, affected the game for sure for both teams. Both teams had to play in it, but I think uh, overall, I think we made the game more difficult on ourselves than we needed to. Um, I don't think we played our best, uh, but given that, we got a result, so. We'll take it and we'll move forward with it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not much positive to say about the game other than we got a result. Um, and the resiliency, resiliency was there, right? Uh, mindset to grind it out, get the result, stick together, have each other's back, and get the result, right? So those are the positives. Um, other than that, I don't think it was our best game, but we move, we move on. And we forget about it, um, but these points are huge. Um, definitely, you know, the points in the beginning of the year are huge and make all the difference at the end of the year. So we'll take it and move forward. Yeah. Mark, uh, you guys are first in the Western Conference right now. You guys are first in the Supporter Shield, so leading yeah. the league as well. Um, yeah. It feels like this is quite the growth from last year to this year. And obviously, you have some really good additions that you guys brought in. Yeah. You talked about guys joking around and doing the stuff. What does it mean to the team right now to be in those positions? Yeah, it means a lot. It means that everything we did in preseason, um, you know, all the stuff they had us doing and trusting one another, like Navy SEAL stuff, you know, you know, pays off, right? So those things that were kind of annoying in the beginning pays off now, right? Because now we're on the field and we're trusting one another and we're working for each other, right? So, yeah, um, it means a lot to us. So definitely started somewhere, and then we started building on that, and to be top of the table at the moment, it, it, it means a lot. So it's early in the season, and we still have a long season to go, so hopefully we can continue going. Um, so yeah, I'm not like super excited. I mean, it's the beginning of the season, right? So, but it's, it's definitely a positive note, so we, we continue moving forward. Uh, and the one last one, question, please. Yeah, the one nothing victory as well. Um, when was the last time you guys had a one nothing victory? I mean, you can talk about not playing well, and the only thing is positive that yeah. you guys get three points. But yeah, I, this team isn't exactly one nothing victories over the last couple of years. Yeah, uh, I can't even remember myself. Yeah, <laughs> I can't even remember myself honestly. Um, today, today is, is one nothing victory, and you know we'll take it. So that's a big result, and 
yeah, we'll move forward with it. I can't remember the last time we have the Wednesday. <laughs> I can't remember either, so we'll move forward. We're all happy with the results, so yeah. All right, hey, Delgado, um, last question for me over here. Yeah. Uh, congrats on the win. Thank you. Uh, with the team's performance uh, this year, um, how mentally prepared are you guys to face your cross-town uh, rivals? Um, yeah, I mean, it's another game, honestly, but it's a rivalry game, so there's a lot more on the line, um, you know, bragging rights, um, all that, all that stuff that comes into, you know, these classic games. So, yeah, I mean, given the first game and everything we went through through preseason, I, I, I would say we're, we're ready, you know? It just puts that much more on the line and we look forward to it, right? But yeah, it's not just like, oh, we're only looking forward to this game, right? But we're definitely ready. Um, we're, we're focused and, you know, we have a level of respect for each game. And now that the rivalry is coming up, the Classico, you know, we're, we're that much more ready and excited for it, for sure. Thanks for your time, Mark. Yep, no worries.